lot of my work is about listing, which also comes from pockets and cataloging and making books and all of this other stuff. But um, I work with objects and I work with lists. Once you get to your senior year, you start recognizing how you got there from your previous years at Cornish. One of my first projects at Cornish my freshman year was to make a book. And we had to focus this book on a particular site. And I couldn't think of a site, so I decided to make it uh, pockets, right? They're a site. And I would take their name and take a photo and take a photo of all the contents in their pockets and then write them all down. But now as a senior, I'm looking back and I'm kind of inventorying people's houses. Um, so in a way, I've gone from pockets to houses. Like Ann Hamilton does a lot of installation work and that's where I am now in sculpture. And Mark Dion works with a lot with collection and that's what I work with, collection. And there's been all these other artists like uh, Sandy Scogland. She does installation work too and she does things all in a solid color with solid things and I'm doing everything that's white and everything that's black. There's 511 objects in my print and I'm using the same images that are on my print as the images for my installation. 511 and the list isn't part of the work but I made one so every object that I drew for the print I wrote down on a piece of paper. So I'm highlighting the fact that we collect all these objects that we have in our day-to-day -day lives. Not necessarily like hoarders kind of collecting but how many coffee mugs you go through and don't really notice. You know, nobody really thinks about their car keys or how many dishes and cookware you use to cook in the morning for breakfast. And to do that, I'm making a very generic uh, studio environment, like apartment studio environment, that is um, blank slated with white paint. And then the objects are drawn out, their original drawings, and are then cut in vinyl and will be wallpapered all over the white furniture. It took me nine weeks to pick out all the images and then I drew them bigger and then Xeroxed them down in size. And so, and then I would take the shrunken down images and a magnifying glass and a pen and trace over each one and then um, did a photo motion transfer and then an etching. Um, but it's, it's being very useful, the original drawing is very useful because now it's my installation. The drawing ranges from things like pens and coffee cups to the star-bellied Sneech and Mickey Mouse and the TARDIS from Doctor Who, um, but also like a polar bear and a jar of mayonnaise. One very strong influence for me was um, Ruthie Tomlinson. I wanted to be just like her. Like I wanted to have like this, she was like a, a goal to obtain. <laughs> um, her work was very clean, it's very minimalistic, and it was like nice. I love that Jessie will try any material. She kind of goes about sculpture in a different way. So it seemed like there was a great uh, jump for her from the freshman to the junior year but I think not as much of a jump as I've seen from junior to senior year. And in the end, is producing a great body of work. Preston, um, who's also an incredible influence on me, and I think that's because he just doesn't put up with any crap. Um, he tells us to drink a preparation, a glass of preparation before you come into class. Like, what the hell does that mean? Oh, coffee, I get it. Like, wake the hell up and do your work. As far as the collecting goes, she started doing photographs for a final project. And she was collecting things and then making uh, cameraless images that, uh, that were really beautiful. And she really got into it. And, and, it, and it taught her a big lesson in how to adapt and um, personally apply things that um, she thought maybe wasn't really for her but it had an appropriate application and that was important. And Rob, my boss. <laughs> and he's the guy that you just kind of like, you get a, he tells you no a lot. 
or that's not going to work, or you're doing that wrong, or he makes you realize the stupid little things about a, about the construction of a piece that that you don't even think about. Jessie is like a mom in the sculpture lab, and uh, what I really like is she watches out after people really, really closely. So she's she's both been. Um, like right there over people, but also giving them distance to do what it is that they like. She doesn't tell them how to do things unless unless they really need some help, and then she's always willing to help with their skills. And of course, like all of the Cornish faculty are really um, influential when it comes to just being a professional artist, because they're all professional artists, and they all worked really hard to get where they are. And um, and they all come from very different backgrounds with very interesting stories. So Cornish in general is really nice that way because you get really close with your faculty. But you kind of feel like you have a home base. Like you have like a place to always go and be. It's like comfortable, safe creation zone where you know people are going to be supportive towards whatever crappy idea you have this week. Um, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it a lot. <laughs>